I apologize, guys. I'm balsamic. Here. Alien. I've been distracted by this. Alright. Uh, to, to go gets off at 8 o'clock. I actually have your Promise the prize. <laughs> Sorry if you guys need cocktail. Yeah, this is the hottest thing. Uh, I'll touch that. <laughs> <laughs> now you guys anything else for right now? More napkins maybe? Yep. Uh, napkins good. maybe. Yeah, of course. Enjoy. Thank you. I think it's just you. Thank you. Yep. Okay, folks. I had to come and videotape this story. That is a true story that happened tonight. <coughs> We went to Hermitage to lay flowers on gravestones and we headed over to Craniax to visit the Easter Village. After we get out of there, we're like, where are we going to eat? So we landed up at Eaton Park up there in Hermitage. <coughs> Got seated by the hostess and I noticed this incredible, incredible hot waiter walking. And I'm like looking up and I'm going, Oh please Jesus, oh please Jesus, let him be our waiter, let him be our waiter. I promise to be good, I promise to be good. And then lo and behold, <coughs> he actually comes to our table with silverware and says, I'll be right back to take your order. He walked away. And as he's walking away, I guess um, he was like, not even two booths down, taking care of the other customers and all that. So I don't know if he actually overheard me <coughs> saying, my God, is he so fucking hot. He is just beautiful, right? That's what I said comes back to take our order when as he comes back to take our order he's literally stopped and he can't think where he's at and he can't think of what to say I literally start howling laughing and I keel over into the booth bang on the table and I said oh my god that was so funny thank you and he's like I didn't know what I was supposed to say, he said. I said, I completely forgot. But, here we go. He says, my name is Dom. <coughs> I'll be your waiter. <coughs> what can I get you? John comes out and says, oh, is Dom short for Dominic? And he's like, yes it is. So I'm like, okay. He's like, John's flirting, right? <coughs> Two. So, <laughs> I'm inside, I'm howling. I'm actually howling inside. <coughs> So we place the order. He comes back and says, <coughs> there's no baked potato. You want to substitute for something else. <coughs> so I don't know if he had uh, mashed potatoes on his brain because <coughs> that was some of the options that was ran through. Because while we're eating, <coughs> well actually he brings our salads over, right? <coughs> and he says, sorry about that guys, but I'm getting kind of confused in the back he says so I don't know if I tripped him up by saying how hot he was and how beautiful he was right because he actually was so uh, then he brings our fruit over shortly like not even two minutes after he brings the salad right and then maybe like five minutes later he's walking past our table again and he says he's got to carry a tray right and he's like did you guys have mashed potatoes and we start laughing again. He's like, no, he didn't. He's like, oh, well, maybe I got that stuck in my head from when I was taking your order um, from the make a substitute for the baked potato we didn't have. So as he's walking away, I actually say, shout out. I said, well, I'll take a free order if they're for free. 
he delivers the food where he was supposed to, comes back again, and says, I'll check and see if we can get you some free mashed potatoes, right? <coughs> then he comes back again, five minutes later, he says, sorry, they just wouldn't give you free mashed potatoes tonight. Wish I could help you more. And I'm like thinking, oh my god, that's a, a setup for a line if I ever heard one, but I let it slide, right? So then, he brings us the bill. He's, before he asks it, he says, is this one check or two? And we said one, right? So he brings the bill. I give him my card. <clears throat> he brings the card over. But before he brings the card over, I look at John and I say, I'm giving you the camera. I'm getting a picture with this waiter. He's like, how do you even know he's even going to want to take a picture with you? I says, <clears throat> trust me. I said, trust me. <coughs> brings the bill and my card back over and says there's up to be like 68 cents starting on the starting on the card and I looked at him I said I said Dom I said have a seat have a seat next to me he said, as he's sitting down I said I've had a couple of miserable days this week I said and you literally just make me laugh and I want to get a picture with you and he's like, oh, I'm sorry you had a couple of bad days. What happened? And John started taking pictures, right? <clears throat> and you'll see the pictures. But after he takes the first one, Dominic actually comes out and says, I think I moved. You should take another picture. Take another picture, right? So, and I told him <clears throat> about the last couple of days I've had with the <clears throat> oxygen mask. He's like, oh, sorry to hear that. So, <clears throat> he says... <clears throat> Hope everything goes better for you. And he leaves. <coughs> <coughs> Meanwhile, we leave, right? <coughs> On the way home, I said, I gotta stop at Walmart. Because I, I get yogurt. To last till Friday. Till I can go to, get to Aldi's to get yogurt. And we were talking about at the restaurant. And John says, I'm actually shocked and surprised he actually did sit down next to you with no questions. <coughs> it's like, I gotta wrap around my finger, baby. Gotta wrap around my finger. So while we were at Walmart, it gets better. We get out of Walmart. I'm checking out, and these two hot kids, I guess they're like in their twenties, walks out past us because they just got done checking out, right? <clears throat> so we start heading out after I'd finished checking out at Walmart, and as we're walking out the side, going to the car, I says, "My God, those guys were so hot!" And John says. They were both from the fire rescue team up here. I says, really? He's like, yeah. I twice started going, oh, I need oxygen. I need oxygen. Please, I need oxygen. Oh, you saved my life. Can I get a picture? <laughs> as, 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 yeah, that's just jokingly. So, <clears throat> so then we get onto the car and head back down 370, towards 376, get on the exit. As we're getting on to the exit to get on to 376, <coughs> there's a cop car with a car pulled over. And John's like, you got to make sure the cop's not on the road. I says, I got to get off the ramp first before I can get even get over. So as I did, <laughs> as I did, we drove past the cop. And my God, he had a, a he was so, he was so fucking hot. Pardon the expression. He was so fucking hot. Beard, mustache, his body. Holy crap. And as soon as we passed him. I'm going, oh, oh, officer, I need my oxygen tank in the back. I need my oxygen tank in the back. And I'm like, let's think of myself. And I told, told John on the way home, I said, damn, I could really work this in my favor. And it clicked into my head what Tim told me when he saw me at the Still City Con with my tank. He came over and said, Oh, what is this? All this fake shit. Just so you can have all the young boys carry you around. And I was like, bingo! That's the new advantage I got with this. I can get what I want by flirting with the hot young man. And they'll feel sorry for me. And maybe even take a picture. <laughs> like Dominic did. It was so crazy. <clears throat> but I had to tell you this story because it... I mean, you wouldn't believe it otherwise. <coughs> <coughs> So, that's the truth. John will back it up for you. 
and I hope you enjoyed the story as much as it actually I enjoyed it actually happening to me at Eaton Park with Dominic. When you see these pictures of Dominic, you're gonna be shit, bitch. You got it. You wrapped that boy around your finger. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed the story. I hope it brought some laughs to you, and I bid you a farewell. And thanks for keeping me in your prayers too, by the way. And with the laughs that I got going on, I'll be around for a while, I think. So, thanks again. <laughs>